Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to have you here again. I'm Uluwa Kemi and this is 2019 National Common Entrance Exam for Quantitative Aptitude Test. And this is the first question that we were given and um, we're given a series of problems which is based on quantitative reasoning and before we answer the questions we are going to study this given sample which is called sample a uh, we're given two sets here in this sample so we're going to study um how these numbers are uh, related like for instance in the first set let's say this is set a we can see that we have four different numbers positioned in, in the four uh, corners of this uh, given object, okay? So the same with the order set. Let's say this is B and this is C, all right? So um, one thing that I want you to understand first is that in quantitative reasoning, uh, it is usually um, it's, it's a way of testing your skill or knowledge on the arithmetic operations like for the multiplication then we also the division the addition and the subtraction okay so these are the basic four arithmetic operations that you will be tested with and sometimes it may also need you to understand the square and the square root okay so sometimes your knowledge of the square and the square root is being tested all right so let us go to set a yeah, we have two, three, six, nine. So how are they related? Is it that when you add, um, when you okay, let's look at multiplication. When you add, when you multiply two by three, we get six. Okay, so we're gonna test that in the order set. So that is what you do. Whatever happens in any in set A must also applies to set B and also applies to set C. All right. So let us look at set B. Seven times one gives us seven. Good. So what about set C? Seven times two gives us what? Fourteen. Good. So we can see that. Okay, that is fine. Then what of how do we get the number at the bottom? That is the nine okay did we have to add all the numbers the other three numbers like three plus two plus six that gives us what did i hear you say 11 good and 11 is more than nine so that is not possible all right so what can you t oh you found out good 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 did you say three plus six gives us nine all right let's test it with the other sets if it is the same then we are right and good to go all right the set b says one plus seven gives us good same two plus 14 gives us 16. all right what about in the case whereby if we're not given the number at the top how do you find that out oh did i say three divide so these three will divide six which will give us two good okay let's try the other set one divide seven give us seven then two divides 14 gives us seven so now we know if we don't see any number at all we can manipulate this basic understanding of plus multiply division you can see how we're using the arithmetic uh, pro, um, uh, the arithmetic operations in this particular given set so we're going to see um, the questions now just immediately after this. So now let us take a look at the three different questions. Uh, since we are already know that five times four gives us 20, and remember that was said it is the addition of these two numbers that is four plus 20 that will give us the number at the bottom okay so 4 plus 20 gives us what did i hear you say 24 good so the answer option c is the right answer so it is as simple as that 
All right, so for question two, seven times x, what are we going to multiply seven with that will give us 21? Wow, how do you get that? All right, so we're simply going to divide 21 by seven so that we can get the number here. All right, so 21 divided by seven will give us what? Did I hear you say three? Good, you're correct. So let's check the answer option. Answer option D is the right answer. What about question three? All right, so this what with an unknown number multiplied by 13 that will give us 13. So what is that number that we're going to multiply by 13 that will give us 13? Oh, you already say one. Good. So what is the answer? Answer option E is the right answer. Right, so you can see that is that easy to you can see that it is that easy to be able to figure out. Right, see you in the next question. Bye for now. Hello, I'm so excited to have you here again. This is sample B of the Qualitative Aptitude Test 2019. So it was a continuation of the previous video. So yeah, um, in this sample B, we are given three sets, okay? So if we look at the fourth set here, uh, which shows that um, we have a number out here, one over three, then another fraction inside of this triangle, which is pointing towards a direction, there are not there fraction two over nine. So what I will always suggest is when you have um, set like this that has to do with fraction and you have the other one, the other set that just have to do with whole numbers, quickly go um, check out the whole numbers. Whatever is correct with these two given sets will be correct with this set that has fraction in eight. Okay, good. So let us take a look at this one, the two outside, the five inside the triangle, and the nine that these two numbers are pointing to, okay? So like I said, you all is just about you using all the knowledge of the basic arithmetic operation, the multiplication, the divide, uh, the, I mean the division, and the minus that is the subtraction okay good so um here we have two then we have five if we say two plus five that's seven which is not up to nine so um not that way all right so let's look at another if whatever we're going to do if we say uh two times ten then we're using the multiplication now that is two times five is ten which is more than nine so that is also uh, not possible so what do you think we can use okay if we increase the value can we say you know and I remember I said something about um, when increasing the value with a uh, square okay when I mentioned square or sometimes it could be cube all right so if we say square so 2 square which is 4 all right then five if we should say five square is going to be way too much than nine even if we were to say four minus that is you're going to get a negative number so that is not possible all right so i hope you can see the correlation now four plus five gives us nine first we have to square this number here then add it to the number inside the triangle okay and that gives all the final answer nine all right so let's check this order set to find out if that is correct so if we square 4 which will give us 16 16 plus 4 that gives us 20 wow that is correct so that means whatever is true for 1 2 should also be true for the third one which happens to be the first uh, one that was given to us all right so 1 over 2 okay square that will give us 1 over nine minus uh, of course inside of the triangle is not square all right so we have one over nine okay 
So I already see because of a plus. So 1 over 9 plus 1 over 4, we know that is going to be 2 over 9. All right. Good. So this is what we're going to use to solve the three given questions. All right. Good. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And make sure that you allow the question to be solved before you start working on your own because this will go a long way in helping you develop the skills which you have just learned. So this is the first question that you will get after we've seen sample B. This is question five. So let us go through it together. But before then, I hope that you will pause the video right now and solve on your own. So I assume you've paused the video and you've solved it on your own. So now let us see uh, together uh, what we are going to arrive at and see if that correlates with what you have. So remember we said we're going to square this up, okay? So the square of four is what? Did I hear you say 16? Correct. So we're going to add that to the number in the triangle okay which is 42 all right so by the time we add that up we'll get the unknown number that we're looking for all right so if we add these to these what do we have can you do that on your own or what did you have did i hear you say 58 yes 58 is the answer so i hope you got answer option b as your correct answer good so you're gonna see question six and seven and try to pause the video and solve on your own uh, then you watch the full video okay good so here are the two given questions that you are going to apply uh, the skill you just learned from sample b so i'm going to give you um, time to pause the video and solve on your own. So you pause the video now and solve. So by now I guess you have paused the video and you solved it. If you have, then let us uh, do this together to confirm if you are correct. Right. So for question six, uh, remember we said, what do we do with this? We square this, right? So the square of 6 is what? Did I hear you say 36? Good. So the square of 6 is 36. So 36 plus unknown, the unknown number there is x and we're told is equal to 48. All right. So now we need to eliminate or subtract x from both sides. Okay, now we're looking for x, so we're going to subtract 36 from both sides. So we're going to have x equal 48 minus 36. And this will give us what? 48 minus 36. Did I hear you say 12? Good. So was your answer option B? Good. What about question 7? Did you get it right? Let's go through it. So the unknown number x that is the square of x okay we're going to add that to the number inside the triangle which is 10 and that will give us 35 all right so we're going to subtract 10 from both sides of the equation okay so we see our uh, x square equals 35 minus 10 right good so for 35 minus 10 that will give us what did i say 25 good 25 so if we square root both sides of the equation so the square root of x square is x right good then the square root of 25 is give, will give us what did i say 5 good so 5 is the correct answer is that what you got that is option a good Thank you for watching and do please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be very very excited to see you in the next video. Bye for now.
Hello and welcome to another interesting video in the series of the quantitative aptitude test 2019. So this is sample C um, that we're going to use to solve question 8, 9, 10. All right. So sample C has three sets, just as we've had uh, in the previous given samples. Okay. So we can see that we have three circles uh, with a connection line. Okay. These two connection lines. Okay. So um, how do we connect the numbers? I don't know if you can see any uh, pattern in this. Look at the first one. We have two, three, one. Um, do you see anything? It looks like okay. Let's say let's just, you know you, you have to be quickly. Uh, you have to be fast with it. So if you say one plus two, that gives us three. It must be the same for the order set okay so in the second set if we say 2 plus 3 gives us 5 okay what about the third set 2 plus 5 is 7 which doesn't give us the 21 that is above so we need to think um, um, beyond that okay so uh, what is are you thinking the last one is trying to show us something I don't know if you can see that it means that the two number at the base must be higher than the one at the top. So how do we make it higher? We're going to say 2 times 5. That is 10. That is still 10. That is still less than 21. Okay, so what are we going to do? What of if we square the numbers? Uh, let's say we square the numbers. We say uh, the square of 2 of 5, which is 25. Okay, the square of 2, which is 4. Can you now see? It means that if we're minus 4 from 25, we're going to get 21, which means there's the difference between the two base numbers in the circle, the square, the difference of the square of the two numbers is going to give us the number at the top. Okay, let's quickly say the first set. If we square this, we have 4. If we square this, we have 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, if we square this, we have what? 9. If we square this, what do we have? 4. So 9 minus 4 is 5. Wow, so sweet. All right, so we're going to see the uh, questions to solve. And like I always say, try to make sure that you on your own you solve this on your own first before we start um, uh, checking it out together so pause the video right now and solve welcome i hope you've done that on your on your own so let us do this together now okay so for question eight the square of two four good the square okay so 4 minus 4 will give us what 0 good I hope you got answer option E correct good 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 all right so let's go to question 9 what do we square here that we're going to subtract the square of 1 the square of 1 is what 1 good so whatever we're going to square here we're going to minus 1 which will give us what 24. So what is that number we're going to square? <laughs> Good. You got A. Good. 25. Yeah, for square, that means uh, the number here is not 25. The number here, the square root of 25 is 5. I hope that is what you got to. Good. So the answer option E is the right answer. All right. So we go to the last question here. Uh, the square of 3 is what? nine good so we don't know what this is but all we know is that nine minus whatever this is is going to give us eight so probably this is going to be one okay so this is going to be one so what is the square root of one what's we multiply each? oh you said one yes the square of one is one the square root of one is one so uh, what is now the answer option E Wow, this is interesting. All the numbers, 8, 9, 10, is E, E, E. Sometimes if you're doing guess work, you may not want to like believe that you can have 
um, three consecutive answers to be the same, okay? But when you know this, you, you've solved it on your own, you're able to use your quantitative reasoning. So even if you have A, A, A as option, you don't bother because you know what you have already solved. Okay, thank you for watching and do stay tuned for the order of series because we still have more to solve and make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as share the video with your classmates or anyone that you feel may need this video most. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to have you here again. This is sample D for question 11 and 12 of the quantitative aptitude test 2019. So let's go straight into this. So we're given three sets, uh, as you can see, a circle with uh, something that looks like a radius. Then there's a number there, then another number outside. Okay. So, um, we don't I don't know if you can see any can you see any of the clue any pattern what can you see in the first we have three then outside we have 27 around the circle does it look like 3 times 3 9 times 3 27 okay so it looks like the cube of this gives us the number outside all right so let's check uh, this other one the cube of 1, which is 1 times 1 times 1, which will give us what? 1. Okay? Then the cube of 5, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, that will give us what? 125. Good, good, good. So you can see now clearly that it is just the cube of the number inside that gives us the number outside of the circle okay good so let us quickly uh, take a look at question 11 and 12 and before we do this together I would love you to pause the video and solve this on your own then we come back to it welcome I guess you've done that on your own so let us solve this together now so in the circle we have 1 over 2 so this is what we're going to keep, all right? So one times one times one times one, we already know is what? One, okay? Two times two times two, this will give us four. Four times two gives us what? Eight. I hope that is what you got right, all right? So the answer option A is the right answer, isn't it? Cool. Then what about question 12? So what is this? Okay, let's say this is x, all right. So what is the cube of this number that gives us 64? So how do we figure it out? All right, so you know that whenever you have uh, a cube and you want to eliminate that cube, that means you're going to cube root both sides of the equation, okay? You're going to cube root it. So at the time we cube root, 64, what do you think will be the answer? What? Did I hear you say 4? Correct. Absolutely correct. 4 times 4 will give us 16. And 16 times another 4 will give us what? 64. So that is the answer. So let's check the answer option. I hope that is what you got. Option C. Good. That is absolutely correct. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this video with your friends and those that may need it most. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.
Hello and welcome. This is Quantitative Aptitude Test 2019 and we want to take a look at this sample given here, sample age, which we're going to use to solve question 25, 26 and 27. Alright, so let us quickly together take a look at the uh, reasoning of the given patterns in sample H. Okay, so uh, we can see that they all look similar as usual, but we have numbers at the base of this given pattern. So we want to know the relationship uh, between these two, these three numbers, that is, uh, what is the relationship between the two numbers at the base, because it seems like, yes, these two numbers are something to do with the number at the top. So let us try um, uh, one of the arithmetic operation. If we say it is multiply, that is zero times five, uh, that gives us zero. So that definitely can be so quickly, uh, you zero your mind from that. So uh, let's say if it is plus, 0 plus 5, that gives us 5, right? Then if we have 5, okay, if we have 5, then we have 25 in here. What does that suggest to you? It means that it was squared, okay? That is 0 plus 5, the square of the result of the two numbers inside gives us the number at the number at the top inside the triangle. All right, that reminds us of what? Pythagoras theorem, okay? Yeah, so let us check the second pattern where we have two plus three. So if we square this, then we have two plus three, which is five. If we square five, we have 25. Wow, so that means it is exactly this reasoning that we're going to use to solve it. Okay, let us see, let us try the last one. If we say 1 plus 2, okay, then we square that. 1 plus 2 is 3. If we square 3, definitely gives us 9. Wow, this looks very interesting. But mind you, don't forget the pattern, the addition or the addition of the two numbers are the base of uh, this given pattern is what when you square the the two numbers you get the number at the top all right so let us quickly um, take a look at question 25 and 26 well before then I want you to solve this on your own and I hope you've done that just right away all right so pause the video and do that so let us solve now if you've done it so here we have 5 plus 4, okay, which gives us 9. If we square that, okay, the square of 9 is what? Is, I hear you say 81. Good. 81, so the answer option E is the right answer. Good. Let us go to 26. Okay, question 26 here. Yeah, we don't know what number is this, which was added to this and gives us the square of this gives us this. So uh, let us write this out. Okay, so let's say this is x. If we say that is x, so we have x plus 1 over 4. If we square this, that is what gives us 9 over 16. Okay, good. So now we need to find x. So if we say the square, to eliminate the square on the left hand side, we need to square root both sides. So if we square root both sides, so that means we now on the left hand side, we have x plus one over four equals the square root. Okay, let me write this up here. The square root of nine, we give us three and the square root of 16, we give us what? Did I hear you say four? Good, correct. So now we have x, we have to move this to the left hand side and that gives, becomes a negative that will subtract one over four from both sides of the equation. 
So now this is what we're going to have. The square root, oh, sorry, the LCM of uh, this, sorry about this LCM of 4 is 4, okay? I mean, the two denominator are, are 4, okay? So 4 in 4, that's 1, 1 times 3, that gives us 3, all right? 1 in 4 in 4, 1, 1 times 1, that gives us 1. So we're going to have x equal 3 minus 1, which gives us 2 over 4. And I think we can still divide 2 goes in here 1, 2 goes in here 2. So our x is equal to 1 over 2. I hope that is what you got. This really is a long one because it is a fraction, okay? So our answer option C, 1 over 2, is the right answer. So let's check question 27. So in here also we have 8 plus a known number. Then the square of this is what gives us 81. So if we square root both sides of the equation, here we have on the left hand side we have 8 plus x okay equals the square root of 81 did i hear you say 9 good so now we eliminate 8 from both sides of the equation so we have x equals 9 minus 8 and that gives us 1 so x is equal to 1 so let's check the answer option we can see answer option a is the right answer Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on the like button if you enjoyed this video and please do share the video with your friends and those who may need this video most. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome, I'm so excited. This is still Quantitative Aptitude Test 2019 and this is sample E for the following questions that we're going to have right now. So let us take a look at the given sets in this sample. So we're given three as we can see and let us take a look at um, the um, common things that are in all of this, okay? So if you look at the first set here, okay, we'll discover that, um, look at that we have a number at the middle and it seems like the number at the middle, I don't know if you can see that, like it's two was taken away from five to get the number at the middle. That is five minus three gave us the number at the middle which is 3 and the number at the top it's very very obvious like it seems that the number at the top which is 9 seems like this is a square of the number at the center but we're going to confirm that with the two other sets so as to know if this is absolutely correct all right so as we can see if you minus 1 from 0 this you're going to get one all right also on the third set we have here 11 minus 5 okay gave us 6 and the square of 6 is what 36 good so you can see that this is very very simple just like the other ones that we've seen so we're going to use this to solve the four questions that uh, were given all right uh, but as we go on make sure that you solve these questions pause the video right now and solve these questions on your own so that you can be sh very sure or you can just uh, practice you know let's say you know you need to practice it is an exercise so do it on your own and we continue
Good. I, 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 I know you've tried that on your own. So let us uh, move on to question 13. So as you can see, um, which number are we going to minus from 3? That will give us 2. Oh, you got that instantly. Good. It's what? 1. Yes. If you minus 1 from 3, you get 2. So you got the answer option B correct you are absolutely correct all right so let us move on to the next question the next question here we are to look for the number that we're going to minus three from that will give us four isn't that obvious good you said seven right so if we minus three from seven we get four all right so the answer option b is the right answer that is lovely you can see that is very simple so let us see question 15 and 16. question 16 just has something to do with fraction which i know that you can do so right now pause the video and solve on your own as i assume that you've done that so let's go straight into the question all right, so this one is so oh, okay. You remember how we said we're going to get the number at the top? The square of the number at the center. Yes, you're correct. And that is what? 25. Good. So our answer option D is the right answer. You're absolutely correct. I'm really um, so excited how you're getting these questions correctly. All right, so number 16 says we're looking for the number at the center so we're going to subtract 1 over 2 from 3 over 4 all right so we have 3 over 4 minus 1 over 2 and remember we look for the LCM of the two denominators and that is what did I hear you say 4 you're correct so now the denominator in this, that is 4 in 4, that's 1, 1 times 3, that gives us 3. So 2 in 4 gives us 2, 2 times 1, that gives us what? 2. So we're left with uh, the numerator 3 minus 1, which is 1, then the denominator 4. Good, it is exactly what you got. Oh, that is lovely. So the answer option A is the right answer. So uh, make sure that you watch the video over again or you rewind it if you don't understand any part of the video. And feel free to leave your comment in the comment section as well as uh, making sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as sharing the video with your friends, your your loved ones or whoever feel you feel that need this video most thank you for watching and see you in the next video because we still have 50 questions to go hi there i'm so excited to have you here again uh, this is quantitative aptitude test 2019 and we want to serve uh, the questions that comes after this given sample G. So in the first set we have three given numbers in inside a triangle and uh, we have another rectangle at the bottom with a number placed inside. So what we want to look for now is to look for the relationship between this number. What is the pattern? What is the reasoning? Why are these numbers placed here and there? Alright, so it seems like I don't know if you can see something that is obvious. Oh, you could see it too. Good. So um, you could see that 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 4, 14, which gives us the number at the bottom. Okay. So we're going to check if this is the same with the order to set. All right. So let's add up. 27 plus 3, that gives us 30. 30 plus 9 gives us 39. So this is correct. All right, let's check the fourth. So we're going to add 1 over 8 plus 1 over 2, then plus 1 over 4. So let us quickly do that. This is fraction, so we're going to solve it out. All right, so we're going to have 
So what is going to look be the LCM? I guess you know that's exactly what we're going to look for. So let's look for the LCM of 8, 2, and 4. What is that? Good. 8. All right. So we're going to write 8 down. Then 8 in 8 is worth 1. So 1 times 1 at the numerator gives us 1. Okay. So we have, sorry about that. So 2 in 8 gives us what? 4. 4 times 1 gives us 4. Okay. So we have 4 here. Then 4 in 8 will give us what? 2. 2 times 1 gives us 2. So if we add this up, what are we going to have at the numerator? 1 plus 4 plus 2 gives us 7. All right. So 7 over 8. Good. That means the addition of all the numbers in the rare circle will give us the number at the bottom place in the rectangle. So we're going to use this to solve these questions, okay? So but before we start solving it together, I would like you to try it on your own. Then we'll come back to solving it together, all right? So pause the video right now and come back later. All right, so I guess now that you've done that on your own, let's quickly check this out. All right, so for question 21, in there we're looking for what number we're we going to add to this that will add to, the, if we add all the numbers inside the circle that will give us, good, you're correct, it's just 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give us 3. Let's go to question 22. So if we add 4 plus 16 that gives us 20 and we're still um, going to 84 so basically you just quickly say 84 minus 20 okay so we're going to have 4 here then 6 here so 64 is the missing number all right oh good you got the right answer option d okay so let's go to question 23 and that will require us to solve. So we're going to write out the fractions for we have 1 over 9 plus 1 over 27, then plus the unknown number, let's say this is x, equals 13 over 27. So this is fraction, so you got to be ready for it. I hope you are conversant with fraction. If not, you can watch some of my videos that I've done earlier on, very um, easy to understand uh, videos, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to move these two to the right, which automatically would change the plus sign to minus. And you know there is an invisible plus sign here too, but it's invisible, I'm just writing it for you to know. So that too is going to change to minus. So now we're going to have 1 over x equals 13 over 27 minus 1 over 9. The um, fractions are now coming to the right, okay? So right now we're going to look for the LCM of 27, 9, of 27 and 9. So obviously that is going to be 27, okay? So 27 in 27 is 1, 1 times 13, okay? That gives us 13, okay? 9 in 27 is what? 3, good. Times 1, that gives us 3, okay? Then 27, 27, 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So 13 minus 3 gives us 10, 10 minus 1 gives us 9. So we have 9 over 27. All right, so we're going to cancel out. So let's see, 9 in year 1, 9 in 27 is what? 3. So we have 1 over x equals 1 over 3 okay so which means x is equal to 3 if you cross multiply whatever you're going to do it means that x is equal to okay let's cross multiply so this so this is the number that we're going to have there uh, 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 is the correct answer that is what 
you got good so the answer option C is the right answer so on a final note you solve this on the run okay solve question 24 on the run thank you for watching and anytime that you don't understand any part of the video you just feel free to re take it back a little bit then continue watching and please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this video with your friends and anybody that needs it most thank you very much for watching see you in the next video Hi there, I'm so excited to have you here again. Uh, this is Quantitative Aptitude Test 2019 and we want to solve uh, the questions that comes after this given sample G. So in the first set we have three given numbers in inside a triangle and uh, we have another rectangle at the bottom with a number placed inside so what we want to look for now is to look for the relationship between this number what is the pattern what is the reasoning why are these numbers placed here and there all right so it seems like i don't know if you can see something that is obvious oh you could see it too good so um, you can see that 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 4, 14, which gives us the number at the bottom, okay? So we're going to check if this is the same with the order to set, all right? So let's add up 27 plus 3, that gives us 30, 30 plus 9 gives us 39. So this is correct. All right, let's check the fourth. So we're going to add 1 over 8 plus 1 over 2, then plus 1 over 4. So let us quickly do that. This is fraction, so we're going to solve it out. All right. So we're going to have, so what is going to look be the LCM? I guess you know that's exactly what we're going to look for. So let's look for the LCM of 8, 2, and 4. What is that? Good. 8. All right. So we're going to write 8 down. Then 8 in 8 is worth 1. So 1 times 1 at the numerator gives us 1. Okay. So we have, sorry about that. So 2 in 8 gives us what? 4. 4 times 1 gives us 4. Okay. So we have 4 here. Then 4 in 8 will give us what? 2. 2 times 1 gives us 2. So if we add this up, what are we going to have at the numerator? 1 plus 4 plus 2 gives us 7. All right, so 7 over 8. Good. That means the addition of all the numbers in the real circle will give us the number at the bottom place in the rectangle. So we're going to use this to solve these questions, okay? So, but before we start solving it together, I would like you to try it on your own. Then we we'll come back to solving it together. All right. So pause the video right now and come back later. All right. So I guess now that you've done that on your own, let's quickly check this out. All right. So for question twenty-one. In there, we're looking for what number we're going to add to this that will add to the, if we add all the numbers inside the circle that will give us good. You're correct. It's just one. So one plus one plus one will give us three. Let's go to question 22. So if we add four plus 16, that gives us 20, and we're still um, going to either four. So basically, you just quickly say either four minus 20 okay so we're going to have four year then six years so 64 is the missing number all right oh good you got the right answer option d okay so let's go to question 23 and that will require us to solve so we're going to write out the fractions for we have 1 over 9 plus 1 over 27 
then plus the unknown number let's say this is x equals 13 over 27 so this is fraction so you got to be ready for it i hope you are conversant with fraction if not you can watch some of my videos that i've done earlier on very um, easy to understand uh, videos okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to move these two to the right which automatically would change the plus sign to minus and you know there is an invisible plus sign here too but it's invisible i'm just writing it for you to know so that too is going to change to minus so now we're going to have one over x equals 13 over 27 minus 1 over 9 the um, fractions are now coming to the right okay so right now we're going to look for the LCM of 27 9 of 27 and 9 so obviously that is going to be 27 okay so 27 in 27 is 1 1 times 13 okay that gives us 13 okay 9 in 27 is what 3 good times 1 that gives us 3 okay then 27 27 1 1 times 1 is 1 so 13 minus 3 gives us 10 10 minus 1 gives us 9 so we have 9 over 27 all right so we're going to cancel out so let's see 9 in year 1 9 in 27 is what 3 so we have 1 over x equals 1 over 3 okay so which means x is equal to 3 if you cross multiply whatever you're going to do it means that x is equal to okay let's cross multiply so this so this is the number that we're going to have there uh, 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 is the correct answer of that is what you got good so the answer option C is the right answer so on a final note you solve this on the wrong okay solve question 24 on the wrong thank you for watching and any time that you don't understand any part of the video just feel free to re take it back a little bit then continue watching and please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this video with your friends and anybody that needs it most thank you very much for watching see you in the next video Hello and welcome to another interesting video still on quantitative aptitude test 2019 and this is sample J okay good so we're going to take a look at these three given set here as we can see we have three here we have five and we have eight so and we have 16 so what is the relation with all of this what is the relation to what was the reasoning of the different numbers so if we say 3 in 16 that is is that's going to give us a fraction and this is not like um, 3 divide 15 gives us 5 or 3 divide 16 give us giving us 8 no so um, we got to look at it the other way and what we normally do is we use the simple arithmetic operation is to add okay so if we add 3 plus 5 gives us 8 8 plus 8 gives us 16 right here okay let's quickly check the other two sets to find out if uh, it works uh, well for them as well okay so 250 plus 160 that gives us did I hear you say 410 yes 410 so if we add 410 plus 410 what do we get good 820 and that is the same number here which means what worked here also works here okay so let's try this one with fractions okay so if we say 6 whole number 1 over 4 plus 4 whole number 1 over 4 
All right. So the whole numbers can add directly. So we're going to have 10 whole number. Then the fraction, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, since they are of the same denominator, we can just write out the denominator and add the numerator directly. So that is 1 plus 1 will give us 2. And if we simplify further, we have final answer. Let's write it down, 10 whole number, 1 over 2. All right. So if you check that this is remaining, so we're going to add it up to the 10 whole number, 1 over 2. Okay. So 10 plus 10, that is the whole number, so you can add them directly, which is 20, which will give us 20. Then the fraction, 1 over 2. Okay. The same denominator, you write the denominator out, and since the fraction has the same denominator, you can just add the numerator uh, directly, just as we did above. So 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So if 2 cancel 2, if we simplify further, we have 1, and that is whole number. So you add this whole number to this whole number, which will give us 21. Okay, so you can see that. What we just need to do to find out or figure out any of this number, you need the, this number is added to this and added to this to get this. All right. So we're going to use this um, reasoning to solve uh, four questions actually: 31, 32, 34. All right. So I will expect you first to pause the video and solve on your own, uh, so that um, you can. Uh, practice and get to know if you understand okay it is very very important please pause the video now all right so I guess you've done that so I've, I mean for 31 32 uh, when we get to 33 I will also uh, give it a chance to pause it all right, so now we have 6 plus, this is unknown, let that be x, okay, plus 8, uh, we're told gave us 16. All right, good. All uh, right, so that means we're going to add this up, then subtract it from 16. So x is going to be equal to 16 minus 8 plus 6, that gives us what? 14. So 16 minus 14, uh, which will give us a final answer 2. I hope that is what you got. Good. Answer option A is the right answer. All right. So let's check the 2. Here yeah, we are to add 8 plus 14, then plus 22. 8 plus 14 will give us what? Did I just say 22? Good. Then 22 plus 22, did I hear you say for the 4? Good. So the answer option D is the right answer. All right, let's go to the next question, 34. Okay, you're lucky we don't have fractions in any of the given questions. All right, so we're just going to add directly 8. Are we mistaken? It's supposed to be 33. Oh, I have to get that. Uh, let me quickly get that. All right, here we go. So this, uh, we're looking for this. Let's suppose this will be unknown. So we have x plus 10 plus 50, which is equal to 100. So we're going to add this up, okay, and subtract it from the 100. So this is 100 minus, this will give us 60. So 100 minus 60 and x we give us what? 40. Good. So the answer option for this is B. All right. So let us check the last question on this. All right. So 20, okay, plus 40 plus unknown x, which gave us 120. So 20 plus 60, 20 plus 40 gives us 60. So we're going to subtract 60 from 120. So we're going to have our regs. 
and that is what 60 good so the answer option e is the right answer thank you for watching and please do subscribe to uh, this channel and share this video and some other interesting videos with your friends and those that really need this video and please do give this video a thumb up if you enjoy it thank you see you in the other video Hello and welcome. I'm excited to still have you here. Uh, we're still on the quantitative aptitude test 2019. So we're getting close. After the sample, we're going to see the last video. Okay. So let us check sample K. Uh, here we can see that we have uh, three circles for each of the set. And it seems like um, we're going to find um, maybe one, the two numbers is going to be. Uh, result to or the number at the top is a result of the two numbers below we're gonna find that out but merely looking at the square and then if you see the x square this x square signifies that it's like uh, it has to do with multiplication okay so the, the, well, what I mean by that is that means x as times x that is x times else gave us x squared okay so um, we we know directly that this is not about addition, okay? Addition like just to add 7x plus 10x, which can give you x squared, okay? And if you say 7 times 10, that's 10, and that's not even up to 149. And merely looking at the 49, you know that um, 7 times 7 will give you 49, isn't it? good and you also know that 10 oh 10 is 10 times 10 so that is like saying the square of this number or the number whatever you find inside of the circles in between you times it by 2 or you square it okay this is what I mean you square this number then you add it together to get this that is like Pythagoras theory do you remember yes okay so uh, let us see the second set or let me just yeah you've gotten this 7 times 7x seven 7x seven times 7x will give us 49x square and 10x times 10x will give us what 100x square so when you add this up you get 149x square isn't it yes so let's go to the second set so in the second set we have 6x okay so if we square this this is going to be what did i hear you say 36 x square okay then we add it to the square of this which is 2x and 2x is what did i hear you say 4x square okay so if you add 36 plus 4 you get 40. so that is how this was gotten good so this works for the two let's still try for the third set okay very very important until when you have tried the two that is when you can say boldly confidently that yes this is what you are going to use all right so x square that will give us what then you say 64 x square okay 6x will give us 36 x square so if you add 64 plus 36 you get 100 x square plus so this gives us the 100 x square right inside here okay so uh let us see the questions try this on your own before we continue all right i guess you've done that good so now what is that number that you square okay let's say uh, t square 
then you add it to 3x squared and that will give us like 9x squared and which will give us 10x squared okay so if you look at this it's like if this is 9 and this the result is 10 that means this is going to be like 1 yeah 1 squared will give you 1 okay so and um, and that's if you say 1x is the same as say x okay good so uh let's check the answer option answer option a is that what you got good that's the right answer so let's see um, question 36 all right you square this and see then you add it up is that what you did 9x square plus 4x square and that gave you what good 13x square so answer option c is the right answer is that what you got good 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 37 the last question here so yeah 3x squared that will give you if you square this you get 9x squared okay what could this be unknown still unknown and this gave us 25x squared so you can just look at this like 25 minus 9 that will give us how many did, what did you say okay uh, that gives us 16 all right so 16 s square and you know that this is going to be squared as well so in order to eliminate the square we have to square both sides so the square root of 16 would be the value okay so that and that will be the square root of 16 is 4 the square root of x square is x so the value is 4 x all right so the answer option d is the right answer i hope that is what you got good 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 so that's it see you in the next video thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel thank you Hello and welcome to another interesting video. This time around, this is the last sample uh, for the question 30, 38, 39, and 40. Okay, so let us take a look at these three given samples we have here. So, right there, we can see that uh, a box is at the top, there's a number inside a box, and we have um a round not really like perfect round but we have some numbers in something like a circle we have one two four ten two five so uh, how does this relate to the number at the top okay let us look at it closely one two four ten two five i don't know if you did you notice anything oh you know this number two number two appeared two times okay oh and it seems like this um, the number at the top is the number that appeared most in the given series of numbers below what do you think okay let's check the order pattern by the side let's check the order set by the side here we have five seven five eight five did you notice also that five appeared most in this given series by appearing three times in fact the other two number just appeared only one okay all right so um let's see the last um the third given set where we have three one seven three two five three eight we can also see that three is appearing three times and every other number is appearing just once okay so we can see that it seems like this is the pattern that we're going to use so now pause the video and let us see 
Um, and you solve question 38 on your own. You can also solve question 40. When I move up, we're going to see question 30. Okay? Okay. I hope you've done question 38 and 40. That is what we're going to do right now. All right. So, you welcome back. So, what is the number that we're going to have here at the top? Let's check the series of numbers. B below, we have 4. Six four seven four eight four three. Okay. Did you notice also that four is appearing four times here? So definitely the number here should be four. Okay. So let's check the answer option. Answer option B is the right answer. I hope that is what you got. Good. All right. So let's go to question forty. So what number are we going to have at the top? Okay. Let's check. We have one. 10 to 11 40 to 4. Did you notice the number that appeared most or highest? This is 2. Okay, good, good, good. So the answer option B is the right answer. Okay, let's check question 39. All right, so right in the air, um, let us see. Uh, try it on your own. Have you done that? Good. So now, which number? 4, 10, 12, 10, 8, 10. Oh, we have 10 appearing, 1, 2, 3. So the number at the top should be 10. So let us check the answer option. Answer option D is the right answer. Thank you so much for watching the series of videos on this quantitative aptitude test 2019. Please do watch the other videos and share this video. Give this video a thumbs up and um, keep telling others to come and watch free videos which I will be creating. Thank you for watching. God bless and I wish you good luck in your exams. Bye for now.